Hi, welcome to a new video of Cambridge Eyes Listening. Today we are going to solve the multiple choice question from the Cambridge Eyes Listening book 6, test number 1. The students find very difficulty in solving the multiple choice questions in Eyes Listening. So I recommend that do more and more practice and try to solve the practice Eyes Listening test. When there is one question and you have to choose three options from the given options and the number of options may be seven or eight, at this time the students become very confused. So whenever this type of questions come in the exam, first of all read the question, underline the word three and also underline the main topic of the question. You have also underlined the key words in the question. The underlining of key words will help a lot in understanding the question and it will also helpful for understanding the audio while listening test is in progress. Try to improve the paraphrases and practice as much as you can because eyes listening test and the eyes reading test is the test of vocabulary. So it is the job of the students to improve their vocabulary and in this way their eyes test will become very easy. Read the options very carefully and attentively. Because when the audio will be played, you will hear the speaker talking about all the options. But it does mean that you have to circle all the options. Your correct options will be only three. So you have to be attentive while taking the eyes listening test. Listen to the audio very carefully because sometimes the speaker will take you close to make a correct circle around any option but then suddenly the speaker's conversation will change and you have to keep thinking and listening the audio what is the speaker saying at the moment so let's go to the test and try to solve the multiple choice question and do the practice in multiple choice questions as much as you can because practice is the key for the success in eyes listening test. Which three of the following problems are mentioned in connection with 20th century housing in the East End? So we have to choose three problems mentioned in connection with the 20th century housing in East End. It means that we have to find three problems of housing in East End in 20th century. So, we have seven problems and from these seven problems we have to choose only three. Option A, unsympathetic landlords. It means that the owners were cruel. So, we can write cruel owners. Unclean water, option B. It means that the water was muddy or dirty. Heating problems, it means that the houses which were in the 20th century, they faced the problem of heating. High rents, option D. Option E, overcrowding. Overcrowding means 
that the number of people was very high the more people were living in a house from its capacity poor standard of building it means that the building material was not good material was not good houses catch catching fire it means that the houses which were in the 20th century in east end those houses usually catch fire so we have to find three problem of housing in 20th century in east end and we have seven options and we have to choose only three that brief outline takes us to the beginning of the 20th century and now we'll turn to housing at the beginning of the century living conditions for the majority of working people in east london were very basic indeed houses uh, as you are here that the, at the beginning of the century living conditions for majority of working people in london were basic indeed were crowded closely together and usually very badly built houses were closely crowded together and usually very badly built because there was no regulation because there were no regulations so in these lines we have heard that houses were crowded closely together and usually very badly built very badly built means that the material of the houses was very poor so let's try to find the answer unsympathetic landlords unclean water housing problem high rents overcrowding poor standards of buildings so our right answer is option f so we can cross that option listen again at the beginning of the century living conditions for the majority of working people in east london were very basic indeed houses were crowded closely together and usually very badly built because there was no regulation but the poor and needy were attracted by the possibility of work and they had to be housed it was the availability rather than the condition of the housing that was the major concern for tenants and landlords alike few houses had electricity at this time the speaker is saying few houses had electricity at this time few houses had electricity at this time you have to keep your focus on the word few houses so other sources of power were used like coal for the fires which heated so other sources of power were used like coal for fires which heated listen again concern for tenants and landlords alike few houses had electricity at this time so other sources of power were used like coal for the fires which heated perhaps just one room so other sources of coal for fires which heated perhaps just room so the coal was used to heat just a single room so it means that the houses in the 20th century has a problem of heating so let's try to find the answer a unsympathetic landlords b unclear water c heating problem so we have found our answer and our answer is option c of course the smoke from these contributed a great deal to the air pollution for which london used to be famous a tiny damp unhealthy house like this might well be occupied by two full families the speaker is saying a tiny damp unhealthy house is like this might well be occupied by two full families he is saying that two full families were used to live in a single dirty 
house. Possibly including several children, grandparents, aunts and uncles. Possibly including several children, grandparents, aunts and uncles. So from this we have got the idea that in those days in the 20th century the houses were crowded with people. So let's try to find the answer. A. Unsympathetic landlords. B. Unclean water. D. High rents. E. Overcrowding. So we have found our answer and our answer is option E. Listen again. Deal to the air pollution for which London used to be famous. A tiny, damp, unhealthy house like this might well be occupied by two full families, possibly including several children, grandparents, aunts and uncles. Now, before I go on to health implications of this way of life, I'll say something about food and nutrition. So we have to find only three problems of housing in 20th century in East End. And we have found the three problems. Our first problem was poor standards of building. The second problem we found is option C, heating problems. And the third problem which have found it, it's option E and it's overcrowding.